Do you guys remember the Black Ops 2 Executioner? It was that little dinky revolver that shot shotgun shells where, you know, it sounded cool in principle and then you actually play with the darn thing and it's like, oh, alright, well this is crap. Well, at least that's what most people thought. I personally enjoyed the gun myself. It was one of my like top five used guns. And it was just like kind of a troll gun at that point. It wasn't super strong, but it shot hella fast. And up close it actually was pretty damaging. So honestly, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Well, if you take the Executioner and you buff it, you take down the fire rate, but you buff the damage and the one-shot killer range and the power overall, and what do you get? Well, my friends, you get the 357 Magnum with the snake shot attachment. And holy hell, this thing is so much fun to use. As of now, I have yet to see anybody rocking this bad boy with the snake shot attachment in public matches, and I'm kind of glad. It's kind of going under the radar. And I'm actually pretty glad about that. It's also kind of hard to level up this gun, especially if you're playing core game modes. It's always like a two shot kill unless you get a headshot. And in this game where everything kills you so quick, you just can't afford it. So I went to hardcore. And if you know me, I absolutely despise hardcore, but it was actually, it wasn't too bad in hardcore, but I'm, I'm glad to be done with it, so. Now I actually found out about this gun through one of my subscribers. His name was AHL or AHAL. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but Kudos to you, man. Big shout out to you. Thank you for pointing it out. I never would have guessed. I never would have found out about this unless you pointed it out. So really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Going back to how this gun actually performs, in core game modes, the normal 357 without the snake shot attachment is a two shot kill with a one shot headshot. It is a pain in the ass to level this up in core. Do not do it. I recommend going to hardcore mode because it's a one shot kill there no matter what. It will make it significantly easier and I promise you, you will have a much better time doing it in hardcore. Now if you continue this grind and you grind it out till about level 29 for the 357, you will be heavily rewarded with what I think as the best secondary in the game thus far. This thing can get some nasty one-shot kills. And I'm not even kidding you, this is the Executioner on steroids. Like I said, you just take down the fire rate and bump up that one-shot kill range, and you get this gun. Not only that, but you can get some pretty far hit markers with this thing, and that's awesome. I love it so much, and I'm so glad that people aren't really finding out about this yet. And they probably will after I make this video, but at the same time, this is a public service announcement because this is too much fun. I have to let you guys know about this attachment grind it out and stick with it because you will be heavily rewarded, like I said. Do I think this gun with this attachment is a little bit OP? No, honestly, it's not. For three reasons. One, the hit fire is pretty bad. You definitely do not wanna be hit firing this unless they're just straight up in your face because most of the time you will get a hit marker and you will die. Reason number two is that the gun really requires you to be accurate and aim down sights all the time. It functions just like every other shotgun would in the sense that when you aim down sights, your pellet spread is tightly condensed. It's not as bad as like a slug or anything like that, but it is, it is condensed and it will definitely reward you if you are accurate. Reason number three is that it is very slow firing and it definitely will get you killed in a lot of situations if you miss your first shot. On top of those three reasons, honestly, for grinding this damn gun, you deserve it. You deserve a medal and much more because this was such a pain in the ass to level up. Like I said, I had to go to hardcore and I absolutely despise hardcore. And yeah, that did help, but man, it was so miserable. I mean, God, you think it's bad in core modes? Go to hardcore and just play a few games. Oh, it's miserable, God. People are just so scared to move and it's just so annoying to play. I'm trying not to complain too much about it, but uh, it is what it is. If you want to know what attachments to run with the snake shot um, ammunition, I highly recommend you running the longer barrel for the revolver because the other two attachments, the other two barrels, just don't cut it, especially the snub nose that really, really messes up the gun. So don't even bother using that one. 
Another good attachment that I recommend is the lightweight trigger, and this is gonna help with your fire rate because you need to be getting up those follow-up shots. If you don't get that one-shot kill, you need to follow up quick, and this will help you get that quicker. Now, other attachments, definitely run the stipled grip tape. That is number one, the best grip that I've seen. It will help with your sprint to fire speed and all that, just in case you run into someone and they kind of get in your face and you need to get your gun up quick, that will help with this. And for the last attachment I recommend, I recommend the one milliwatt laser. This is gonna help with your sprint to fire speed, which is also very important in this game. You could be running the green lasers if you so choose to. I personally do not prefer them at this point. I'm still going back and forth because honestly, I'm tired of giving away my position. You look in your kill cams and you'll see your little laser flying back and forth. That's really frustrating to me. So I'm just sticking with the one milliwatt laser at this point and it's helped tremendously. Overall, this gun is a blast to use. And honestly, I love maining this now. It's it's kind of one of my go-to guns now. It's kind of ridiculous, I know, but just it's so much fun and you're fast on your feet because it's a pistol. So I highly, highly recommend you guys trying to level this pistol up and getting this attachment because honestly, you won't regret it. And even if you use it as a secondary, it's pretty damn strong because all you have to do is switch to your pistol and you can probably one tap them if they're close enough. And that's really strong in this game. So I highly, highly encourage you to try this out. And with that, we will wrap up the video here. I think I've said everything I need to about this pistol and this awesome attachment. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend you guys going out and grinding this pistol and trying it out. It is so much fun with the snake shot and you are in for a blast. Now, let me know what you guys think. Did you even know that this pistol attachment existed? Because I sure didn't. And have you tried it? Do you guys enjoy it? Do you think it's strong? Do you think it needs to be buffed? Let me know what you guys think and keep it civil. So that's it for this one. I will talk to you guys in the next one.